content itself. I'm gonna copy this. And we're gonna fix the overflow thing. So we're gonna do some CSS to fix that. So. Beautiful. So I'm gonna right click, do source. Should be working. Work. Should be working. Let me have a CSS. So, um, this will be the last one. Should work out. Let me have CSS. There we go. So now it's working. So. That's how you do it. If I did it really quick, then so we we'll use overflow. Overflow. Try overflow scroll. Try and hear it. Let's try auto. Yeah, let's try auto. Uh, let's try clipped. I like the bouncing. Ah, come on. I was hidden. Oops. Yeah, yeah. That did not work. No boundaries. Boundaries. Hmm. Okay, I, I have a, this this bug is not gonna go away, so
responsive. And it's responsive. Cool. It's responsive too because it has the width 100%. So it also has touch. You see how my finger is grabbing. So yeah, this is a high end Dallas slider. It's very awesome. It's already been made and then used to replace some images here. And uh, you can also make it a link. So so this is pretty awesome. It's basically a div, so you put content in there and then make other sliders. So this is cool. It's pretty cool. And then these these passing stuff. This this is alternative stick slider, so I guess they're Cause a uh, owl slider, owl slider tutorial. Can't fix the bounce. Um, when someone fixes the bounce, please show me your code. Code. Yeah. Hi guys.